Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses. Today I want to show you what I got uh, done the last few days. It's been a little chilly here and kind of cold and actually today's not going to be too bad. It's going to be kind of nice, but I've uh, been working on a couple little projects here in the shop and I had a forge uh, before and eh, kind of one I just cobbled together for Forge. what I did. I just, I don't do a lot of forging. I do a little blacksmithing, make a few knives, make a few things. And so I needed something to kind of heat metal up um, hot enough to, to, to kind of work with it a little bit. Didn't have to be welding temperature. Um, so anyway, I made one, it was uh, it's kind of okay. And uh, I wanted to just make something a little nicer, but you know how it is, you never have time. So when it got, got kind of bad weather, I had kind of seen some guys that had made one out of an old propane bottle. And I thought that oh, was pretty good. And I happened to have an old propane bottle out behind the shop. And so I decided I was gonna do that. So this is what I did. I made this, I just got it painted the other day and uh, all put together plumbed up with the uh, with the nozzles and uh, yeah it's got a little brick here in the back there's a hole in the back side and a hole in the door so that you can uh, pass material all the way through there and this one is a double burner so it will get things up to welding temperature so it's a really really nice little you know that's a little project I did uh, like I say when it was cold and nasty outside um, let's see if I can get it turned around here a little bit. Got a little door on the front, it's kind of nice. Uh, and then this little rack out here so that if you have your bar stock is a little long, you can rest it on there and have it in there and, and uh, works pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to fire it up and uh, show you a little videos about it and uh, show you how it runs. Here's a few pictures of when I was building it. Just took an old propane tank and cut it apart. And I got some of the ideas from a couple guys on YouTube and also on a couple of the Facebook pages I'm at that uh, do some forging and stuff. So just took some of their ideas and, and suggestions and modified a few of them to fit what I was going to be doing with mine. And uh, yeah, it's not a super, not a super tough project. Something that's kind of rewarding and fun to do. So if you guys are into that, hope this tip helps. Just kind of wanted to share uh, what I was doing this winter with you guys.